Okay, we're going to take a quick look at what you do when you have a lovely scene like this with lovely light coming in and then you add a backdrop, which I have on a layer. I'm not going to make visible. Uh, it's got a lovely view, but suddenly my light is gone. So how can I get around this problem? So the quickest way, if it works, and it won't always work, is to just take your view and move it back. By the way, what is this weird big gray shadow thing? Uh, if you ever see that and it's blocking um, other stuff, which it almost always is, because in the shadow setting we have display on ground shown and this is actually the ground level or where the red and green axes come together so if you uncheck on ground it's going to go away so again if you move this back let's go back to the inside oops i have to remove the ground and update that so that was one simple way whoops to get the shadows unfortunately sometimes that won't work um, so let's undo that move and put it back where it was. And sometimes you have to tell SketchUp how to not have one specific thing throw a shadow. Unfortunately, Podium doesn't recognize when SketchUp turns the shadows on and off, and we need to go to Podium and tell Podium to do the same thing. So um, you wouldn't actually need to do it now, but if it just helps you excuse me, understand what's happening in your model better, or if you're not going to render it and you need the shadow back, this is what you would do. So I have the backdrop on its own layer, and I have put the backdrop on that backdrop layer. So there's this uh, little row of icons down here, which um, kind of really don't mean anything until you know what they mean. And one of them, the last one says, don't cast shadows. So I'm going to uncheck don't cast shadows. And that means now if I look around, everything else in the model is casting shadows as before, but whatever is in the group that's on the layer that says don't cast shadows will no longer be casting shadows. So that's one trick you can use in a floor plan if um, you could put all the walls on a group and say don't make that group cast shadows and you'll have just nice little shadows under your furniture and not also coming from your walls. So this is great, but I'm going to go ahead and render this and we'll see if Podium recognizes it. So I'm just going to go to Podium. I've got a quick interior preview. I'll just leave it on the defaults. And if I render it now, you can see that it's kind of an odd result. Right, even though we can see the shadow here, I can't see it here. So Podium doesn't recognize uh, this toggle to turn shadows off. So we're gonna have to go to Podium and make some changes there instead. So in Podium, they went about solving this problem in a slightly different way. So again, we saw SketchUp chose to tell groups to cast shadows or not. In Podium, they told materials to cast shadows or not. So I'm going to select this material and by default the cast shadows would be on. I'm going to uncheck that. Another kind of oddity is you can't have the default material on the back of this face because then that back face will cast shadows. So you need to paste um, the backdrop material on both in the front and the back. And then I can go back to my shadows on view. And if I render now, What you should see is voila, our backdrop no longer cast shadows. So again, remember two places. If I changed the backdrop to not cast shadows here, it changes how it appears in the model, doesn't affect the rendering. If I go to the material properties, check cast and uncheck shadows here, it doesn't change how it appears when I'm looking at the SketchUp model but changes what happens after I render it in Podium. All right, all clear, good luck.